Hi there, my name's Andy Young and I'm one of the lecturers, one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand and welcome to my Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. And on this short video, and I keep saying short because I need to remind myself to make it short when I edit it, uh, on this short video I'm going to show you how to measure valve margin. Now valve margin, it's really hard to see, you've got on the valve itself, oh, that's not too bad, you've got this cambered surface here, this sort of tapered surface, that's where it actually seals uh, with, the, with the, uh, the, the valve seat that's in the head. And then, just after that, towards the end of the valve, you've got this little flat surface here. And that's called the valve margin. Now when these valves are in, uh, you know, working up and down in the engine, the engine's running, they do actually rotate slightly. And I've used this valve because it's going to show you where that notch is, which is obviously a fault, you should know that. Um, that it rotates. And they rotate, and what that does is it helps to keep that sealing surface on the valve a sealing surface. It sort of wears a little bit and it beds into the valve seat and they, they, they become a, what we call a mated surface. So they become airtight. Now, as this valve wears, that margin, the valve margin, that flat area there, look, gets less and less and less. And an easy way to tell how worn your valve is, is to measure the thickness of the remaining valve margin. So I'll have a quick look in the manual, we'll find out what the specs should be, and then we'll measure this and find out if it's any good or not. Obviously assuming it hasn't got a bloody great big hole in it. Okay. Right, according to Mr. Toyota, the minimum permissible valve margin is half a millimetre, that's 0 0.5 of a millimetre. So, the easiest way I find measuring these things, and we're getting pretty small, but I tend to use my verniers. And the way I do it is I set on the verniers what the minimum is. So I'll set on there 0.5 millimeters, which is very small. Jeez, can I get it? Yes, there we go. Right. 0.5 millimeters and then I compare that distance with what's left on the valve which if you can see that there's about twice as much on the actual valve itself so it's looking pretty good what I'll do now is you get your verniers and you can sort of hold it up like that and just keep closing it until it sort of matches the same distance. It is only a rough guide as to how worn the valves are. And there's many other reasons why you might be replacing the valve. So I was about right. It looks about one mil of valve margin. And that's it. That's how easy it is to check valve margin. Now, if you measured a valve and you got, let's say, I don't know, 0 0.65 millimeters um, as you're reading, then they're still getting pretty close. And if you're planning to rebuild that engine, you're putting new pistons and rings and rebore and all that kind of stuff in it, and you're wanting it to last a considerable amount of time, maybe another couple of hundred thousand Ks, then the valve won't last that long. It's gonna, that's going to wear down and get be below the minimum margin way before you get to that kind of kilometers. So you're going to have to put new valves in, even though they aren't completely worn out. Now, for me, on this particular vehicle, it's going to get new valves anyway because they're all really badly pitted on the mating surface. Look at that, that's terrible. What's been going on in there? Okay, well, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, that's how to measure valve margin. It's pretty simple. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, then please do leave them down the bottom. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, then please do. More the merrier. There's only, that, only a few subscribers at the moment. It'd be nice to have a few more. Uh, and that way, in return, you're going to get free notifications as and when any new videos go up on, the, on my Ander Mechanic YouTube channel. Okay, well, there you go. Hope you found it interesting. Cheers. Over and out.